Hi, this is Raheem Zulfakar Ali from Excel Basement. In this video, we will learn how to create a dashboard in less than 15 minutes in Microsoft Excel. So let's get started. Let's discuss the data first. So in this particular data, we have around eight to nine columns, uh, segment, country, month name, year, discount bands, then unit sold, amount for sales, cost of goods sold and the profit and we need to uh, transform this data into a very good visualized dashboard so let's get start so i have uh, created a new sheet within this workbook and i have renamed this sheet as a dashboard where we will put all our visuals and slicers here uh, after adding this data to some pivots and slicers we will add more data of uh, 2022 in this particular data and I will tell you that how it will be useful to make uh, an, a table instead of a normal range in Excel because it will append the data and it will update in just one click. If you want to learn more about the dashboard reporting in Microsoft Excel, you can go to my channel that is Excel Basement where you will find a lot of videos and a dedicated playlist on dashboard reporting and you can learn more tips and tricks regarding creating a dashboard in Microsoft Excel. So let's get start. First, I will select this entire data or if it's in table format, you even don't need to select that. Uh, go to the insert tab and click on pivot table and click OK. So a new sheet will be inserted in, in your workbook. Let's rename this sheet as workings and let's uh, create a pivot table. So I will add, let's say country, then segments, and then sales in the values. So I, I will got quickly one pivot table and I will just uh, make sure that the formatting is correct. And what I will do is I will create a, a bar chart for this pivot table. So I will go to insert tab and I can just uh, click on the 2D bar chart, right? So make sure that once you created a bar chart, uh, it's also necessary to note that uh, you need to reverse the axis as well uh, of Y axis. So just click on that, right click, click on format axis. And here on the right side in the format axis menu, uh, check the categories in reverse order and also check mark at maximum category. Okay. And then close this. Okay, so we don't need these buttons as well. So what we can do is right click and uh, from this contextual menu, click on hide all field buttons on chart, right? Uh, let's rename the title as well. So it will be called sales by country. And let's put this a bit on left side. We don't need this particular legend as well. We don't need these grid lights. So just click on that and delete. Uh, we need to turn on the data labels for each of the bars. So right click and from this contextual menu, click on add data labels. Okay. Uh, let's increase the width of these uh, columns. Uh, right click format data series and decrease the gap width. Right. Let's also change the color scheme as well. So I will go to the design tab and I will have a yellow theme for this dashboard. Right. Once you have done with your this visual, you can cut and paste this visual to the dashboard sheet or you can just copy and paste as you like. So I will here, my preference would be, so I will press Control X to cut this visual and to paste on this dashboard sheet. Okay, so we have successfully pasted this. Let me resize it, right? Okay, if you don't want to see this grid lines, just go to view tab and turn off the grid lines okay now let's add a slicer so i will go to the workings where i have a pivot table to insert a slicer click on analyze and click on insert slicer and we will have a year slicer and uh, also month name slicer okay so i will just cut these two objects as well and i will place them on my dashboard sheet here okay so I will just make a formatting for this particular slicer 
so for doing that just click on the slicer go to the slicer tab and let me increase the columns into three and resize this object i don't want the header because it's already being understood that these represent to the years so right click and uh, go to the slicer settings and uncheck this display header okay so you have more space right here uh, let me change the color scheme of this slicer as well into yellow right okay so i will put this here now the month name slicer i will go to the slicer tab and let me make into a six columns resize that slicer and right click slicer settings uncheck this display header change the theme color for that as well so the next step is i need to insert some rows so i have inserted some rows i will go to my first pivot control selecting that pivot control c and i will paste that pivot and what i will do is i will change this pivot table okay so now uh, the next pivot table is def is uh, being classified into sales as a line chart for that i need years in the rows and the segments in the columns and i will create a line chart for that so for doing that you can just click on analyze pivot chart and let's have a line chart for that okay so again control x for cut this visual and paste on the dashboard okay so we will do a bit formatting here right click hide all field buttons we don't need this legend here delete this grid lines change the theme color design yellow theme color right and uh, and the title we want so we will click on plus sign and chart title so this is basically sales next again we will copy this pivot table selecting this pivot table copy then paste and here we instead of sales we will be having profit in the values and we will create a line chart for that so again analyze pivot chart select the line chart okay and cut this visual place that into the dashboard sheet so adding a header to that so it says profits then we will create uh, one more pivot here for year on year growth of sales for doing that i will just select this pivot table copy and paste it and i will right click on this pivot table value field settings and here i will go to show values as so instead of no calculation select percentage difference from and the the base field will be the year base item will be the previous so this is the year on year growth of sales okay so let's create a column chart for that so analyze pivot chart and here we have the column chart available okay so let cut this object control x and place it in the dashboard sheet so all those same formatting tips and tricks you will need to follow in color is okay next we need to add the year on year growth for the profit as well so i will just select this pivot table or which uh, represent the profit for each of the year segment wise so i will select this pivot table copy and paste it and i will do a calculation so right click value field settings show values as and select the percentage difference from and base item is previous 
and we will go to the and we will insert a quick chart for that so analyze pivot chart column chart press ok year on year growth all right so what next we want to do is we want to add one more slicer of uh, these segments and when we click on any of the particular segment these charts will get filtered or changed okay so for doing that what i will do is i will go to my working sheet and on the first pivot i will go to uh, analyze insert slicer and uh, here i will make a slicer of segment cut this object and paste on this dashboard let us format this as well so i will go to in slicer columns let's say five resize this particular object right click slicer settings remove the display header press ok and also change the color theme color okay so we have these five segments here so we have placed this on top right side okay here all right and also as you have noticed that we don't have the legend here on the sales and profits as well so what we're gonna do is we will just uh, create a chart a line chart let's say go to pivot chart and uh, create a line chart and we will say that uh, make sure that this particular legend goes at the bottom right and resize this object cut this object and place to the dashboard sheet and what we're gonna do is we will have a little trick for that we will resize this particular chart in such a way that we can just see the the legends here so we will resize this resize this and let's bring this chart behind this slicer or format and send backward send to back right and i will put this here so now you can see that uh, whenever you click on any of the slicer segment uh, this first sales chart is changing right now we will learn that how to change the rest of the charts uh, with this particular slicer so select the slicer right click go to report connections make sure that you have checked every of the pivot available in, in the working sheet and press ok now when you click on any of the segment your chart is being changing right all of your charts being changed right this year and this month slicer only changes this particular sales by country chart not the other chart so for doing that right click report connections and make sure that only pivot table one is being selected not the rest of all those pivots again for the year report connections all right so here i can filter year wise my sales by country and further segments right and when i click on any of the segment the entire reports gets changed right okay so i have changed some numbers uh, as well in the data so that i can have uh, a view that how it's update so for example if you have any changes in the data or the numbers what you need to do is go to the working sheet where you have created all the pivots and go to data and click on refresh all or you can just right click on the pivot and click on refresh so that your uh, data is updated and reflect on all the visuals and for example if you want to add more data for example uh, this data represent three years of sales uh, 2019 20 and 21 and for example if you want to add some more data so i will add 
2022 data for the month of Jan and Feb. So I will copy this particular range and I will go to my data sheet where you know that your this particular range is already being converted into a table. So when you paste that data below this now this range has been become a part of this particular range and when you click on go to the dashboard and click on data refresh all so you can see that on just one click your 2022 has been added on all the visuals right uh, because only two months sales has been recorded for the current year so it that's why it's going to the downwards and because this data is not a real time data it's a fictitious data dummy data so that it's will it will not represent the actual view of the business but the the main point is that uh, you but you need to learn that how to create these kind of dashboards in less than 15 minutes in microsoft excel also make sure that you have set the printing area correctly for doing that control p for the print area and let's do some page setup settings it will be the landscape let's resize the margin area center on the page horizontally and also you can just press alt vp to have another view which is basically of page big page break preview here So this is how you can create a quick dashboard within 15 minutes in Microsoft Excel by creating some pivot tables, creating some visuals out of that and connecting with some slicers so you can have this kind of a dashboard in less than 15 minutes. Let me give a good view of this dashboard to you as well if you put it this to the 100%. Now you can view that different visuals are available right. And when you click on any of the segment, it's just cat filter and the dashboard is ready, right? Okay, thank you.